Hi viewers, we are here once again to give you some good moves and actions. And um, before I always like to do this first thing, before we go into the actions quickly, I want to first appreciate our Epstein subscribers and our viewers who say thank you and keep keeping on to our videos. And for our esteem, our main for our first timers, we'll always say subscribe, hit the bell and leave your comments and we'll work on your comment. Okay, now we want to show you how to end a fight in seconds. And obviously, such action goes with swift instinct and it's very, very, very critical and dangerous. So in the process, you have to be very careful. So whatever you'll be watching, just take note that it is dangerous. So stay tuned and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> okay, now how it comes is that this is a, is, a, is, a, is a neutral man you're just on your own and uh, somebody comes probably okay let me use myself for instance i have offended him without knowing yeah and he comes to me approaches me now as a fighter i should read his countenance from probably the way he's he's coming here yeah, his, his gesture his body move i should quickly understand what he's coming to do now from there, he takes his action wherever. Bam! You can see that what happens. Now I have to control that. I have to control that. Now let me take him. Let him come slowly now, so that you see exactly what happens. Now go slowly. Bam! You see this? That is where the action goes to. Now if you give somebody a strike to this point, you should understand what that means. Okay. Now I might not want to end there. Now he comes. I go, pa, boom! Ah. That's double strike at once, and you can see that. Okay? All right. Now, slowly, that action comes, he moves in. Yeah. <laughs> you can see when I, when I talk about being that is, you have to be careful, it's dangerous, so you understand what you can see his reaction now. Okay, now, so I'll be very, I'll, not, I'll just touch. Now, come slowly again. I drop here. Now I don't bother about this hand. I just drop this. And once I drop this, I'm there. I went one and two. That was what happened. I went one and two. And you saw it. All right. Now let me give you the spots so that you understand that you do not just punch to anywhere. Now, like I said, if you strike somebody to this point, of course, you know what that means. So that punch went here one, and I did not stop there. The second one went here again. This is like within the solar plexus, in between the, the chest, where the chest and the tummy aligns. You scoop it up, palm. See that? That was what happened. So when you go palm, palm at the same time, and that fight ends there, all right? So now let's assume now that your instinct, and why that happens is because my instinct was sharp. I allowed my instinct before the moment I saw him and with his body movement and gesture, I understood what is coming next. So I won't allow him to end. So now let's assume that instinct is not there. I don't have the instinct. So I'll now react on what he has or what he will do afterwards is what will cause my own reaction. So now without instinct, so pow, can you see that? <laughs> See this? See what I just did now? I took the same strike, but this time around, the instinct was not that first. So I allowed him to take the push. He took the push. I stepped back, and while he's coming in, I step in equally. All right? Because one thing you must understand is, as he pushes me and I step back, he will never expect me coming back to him. Now, the moment I come back, will restrict his it will jack him to restrict his movement so but if i keep going back i will give him the advantage to take what he's coming to do in his mind because by the time he finished the pushing and he steps in he has something to do in mind now for me to disorganize what he has in mind is for me to equally approach him back with that action okay now i took 
the same strike on the swift instinct and the other ones now so now i want to take a different act, uh, action so that you know that it is not just here and here that you can drop somebody uh, in a second okay now let's go back to he's coming with the instinct i am not, i have the instinct now now he's coming again Boom. Oh. <laughs> now from there watch this from here come close he's here all right if i want where did that kick go to went to he went to the ground now how did i i succeed to get to the ground because if i'm here it might not go but what i did is is come a step pop, boom that's what i did okay now from there he comes again i go pa. okay now if the moment i take that here pa, i can do any other thing but this is the major thing i can do this and do that but this is the major thing to bring him down okay that's when the um my instinct is sharp and i got him without allowing him to take the first move okay now the instinct is not there now let's assume that way and he takes the push Pop! and it's coming again boom i still went the same way why because i like i already explained i didn't go back again once he took me back the first time and it's rushing in i rush in equally with that same kick that's growing now let's take another aspect too that can still bring somebody down in a strike. Now, with the same sharp move. Sharp, boom! Hey. Ah. You can see what happened. That went a bit too close. Aha. So, you ask, please be careful when you are trying this out. Now, okay. All right, now, let's go slowly. Now, I'll just touch I'll just touch. Now watch this. With a swift move again. It comes. I go one. And. Uh. <laughs> so. Now just. Let me just show. I won't hit. I, I step one. And pop here. Okay. Now. Can you see this? This is where the punch goes. And he's very devastating. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't even mind to add any other thing. Once you go here, except you just feel like adding one here. As he's going down, you still take several other things. But we're talking about one is one. One strike is down. Okay. That was with the instincts. Now let's assume there's no instinct as we did in the previous. He throws, he takes the push, I step back, and he comes, I see, move the same thing again. I see that. Why all this is possible is because I don't move back. Okay, let's show one example. Now, when you push, I'll still move back. Push, pop, then you rush. Can you see that? You see that. Now, while I'm moving back, I have given, I am giving him room to execute his plan. But the moment he takes me back and hoping to come for his plan and I bridge him back, he will definitely shut him off. Okay, <clears throat> I think uh, with this, we are going to leave you here until you come your way next time. But please, I will emphasize, please be careful when you are trying this out. You can see the reaction there. Just a little uh, touching. How much more if it was full landing okay so be careful whenever you're trying it out like i said before it's very dangerous okay for our esteemed subscribers we say thank you thank you to come away next time then for our first timers mind you please do subscribe we appreciate you as you drop your comments thank you and stay tuned to come away next time bye for now